Hello viewers, welcome to the next section, defining and executing unit tests. In this section we will learn about setting up unit tests, defining a first round of unit tests, running unit tests and checking testing coverage, improving testing coverage. Now we move on to the video, setting up unit tests. In this video we will install the coverage and Django nose packages in our virtual environment. Also we will use the necessary configurations to improve the accuracy of the test coverage measurements. Make sure that you quit Django's development server. Remember that you just need to press Ctrl C in the command prompt in which it is running. We just need to run the pip command to install the coverage package. The last few lines of the output indicate that the Django nose package has been successfully installed. We just need to run the pip nose command to install the Django nose package. The highlighted output indicate that the Django nose package has been successfully installed. Open the Games API settings.py file and add Django Nose to the installed apps in the settings.py file, specifically to the installed app string list. The highlighted code shows the lines we've recently added to settings.py file. Next, add the highlighted lines to configure the Django nose test runner class as our test runner and specify the default command line options that we will use when we run our tests. The nose arg settings specify some command line options for the nose test runner and for coverage. With coverage options specifies that we always want to generate a test coverage report. Cover arrays option makes sure that the test runner deletes the coverage test results from the previous run. Cover Inclusive option includes all the Python files under the working directory in the coverage report. Cover Package Equal Games option indicates the module that we want to cover games. Now save the file to keep the changes in the settings.py file. Open the Games API root folder and create a new text file named .coverageRC with the run and omit lines of code. This way the coverage utility won't take into account many things related to the generated migrations when providing us with the test coverage report. We will have a more accurate test coverage report with this settings file. Don't forget to save the file.